Thank you so much um, for that heartwarming um, introduction, good lady. I, I must say right from the onset that I feel very much honored to be part of this platform. And I'm asking myself, how did I come into the minds of the organizers that I be one of those who will have some contribution? Um, and at the same time, I want to express my humblest and the deepest um, gratitude um, <clears throat> to the Holy Spirit for having inspired his people to come up with such a brilliant idea uh, to come together in the early hours of the morning and seek the face of the Lord. No one has ever done so and failed to be blessed. So I, I wish to encourage you guys to keep up this habit of seeking the Lord, especially in the morning. You know, for you to really love and enjoy uh, uh, praying, you need to discover the secret of, of prayer. You know, the, 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 a number of people know and are aware that um, there's something called prayer, which is, you know, connecting with, 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 with God. But because they haven't, you know, discovered the secret, the, 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 the joy, the sweetness of, of sitting at the feet of Jesus. Um, prayer is just general, ordinary, obvious thing. It is not yet, it, it is not yet the thing. Those who have, who have discovered the joy, the sweetness of prayer, when they start, they never stop. Because the more you pray, the more you feel there's a need of prayer. Um, our, our theme for this week, uh, as we have heard, is, is, is entitled Christ, our hope. And under that grand theme, today I want us to look at um, sitting at the feet of Jesus. If I was blessed like uh, Izzy Minga, I would sing that song, uh, sitting at the feet of Jesus. What, what a song. Let me, without wasting much time, let me invite you to turn with me in the book of Luke, the 10th chapter, the 10th chapter, and we start reading together from verse 30, 30, 30, 38. It reads, now it happened as they went that he entered a certain village and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into a house. 39, and she and her and, and a sister called Mary, who also sat at Jesus' feet and had his weight. But Martha was distracted with much serving. And she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore, tell her to, to help. Verse, 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 verse 41 read, and Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things, but one thing is needed, and Mary has chosen that good part which will not be taken away from her. May the good Lord bless the reading of his word. May the good Lord bless the ears that will be receiving this word. Friends, what a powerful passage. I never get, I never get to the bottom of it. 
I never exhaust every part of it because every time I, I go through it, I see some, some, some new element like you have never seen before. To paint the picture here, Christ is, 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 is walking with his disciples. As they entered this village, they were welcomed by these two girls, Martha and Mary. Now, history and the scripture tells us that this family of Martha, Mary, and the brother Lazarus, this is one family that always had time to welcome Jesus. They don't, to, in my mind, in my imagination, they don't present themselves as a family that was well to do. But the little that they had, they were always willing to share with Jesus. They welcomed, they appreciated the presence of, of, of Jesus Christ. In other words, every visit, they would always look forward to see Christ again. There was something special about Christ in their lives. Hmm? Now, here they are. As, as, as they were welcomed then now, Christ took a, a chair, sat down. Listen, and both girls, both sisters, they came set at the feet of Jesus. You know, as Christ was talking to them, sharing with them the word of life, the, the, the good news, you know, and, and there was nothing at that moment, there was nothing equal sitting at the feet of Jesus. You know, the joy, as, as, as they were drawing the joy, the sweetness, of sitting at the feet of Jesus. You and I will never understand and, and, and unless we sit there and understand the experience they went through as they were drawing, you know, it's like we are getting it. You are excited. The sweetness of the words from Christ's mouth, the experience of being around the almighty God himself. Listen, while both girls were sitting down, Martha felt that, man, I'm enjoying this, but there are something in her mind that are better than sitting. You know, she, she looked at the kitchen and, and thought, hey, by the way, the very people that, that are around, Christ himself is going to need lunch very soon. Hmm? Then she decided, you know, the mother would, or the mother, you know, that uh, came, 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 came strong out of her. And then she wanted to go, you know, try to prepare the, meal, the, the, the meals so that at the right time, people will then enjoy the meals. So she, she stood up. In other words, in her mind, she's debating, must I, I love this, I'm enjoying this, but hey, the very people will need to eat, you know, then, 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 then she went to the kitchen. Uh, in my mind, I see Martha, you know, using sign language inviting the sister to say, hey, you can't just sit. Let's go and prepare to serve these people. So Martha is up and down preparing the meal for somebody special. Jesus is in our midst. We need to prepare something. So she used all her best skills of communication to get the sister aware, you know, that she's needed. She, ha ha. She's more needed in the kitchen than at the feet of Jesus. Whatever means she tried, Mary ignored all the, the communication, all the, 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 the effort. She just said, in other words, the more she was drawn away from the feet, the more Mary, Mary sat there and, and, and ignored whatever around her. And then Martha decided that if she does not listen to me, let me speak to the master himself. Wow. And then straight to the one and Lord, don't you care that I'm the only one serving? Here is my sister sitting down. Martha says, there's something more important than just sitting at your feet and enjoying whatever. Can, 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 can on my IFL, can, can you on my behalf speak to her? to tell her where she belongs. 
Listen, I, this one I don't understand. And maybe if I were Christ, I would have said to Mary, Mary, I love what you are doing and I love talking to you, but your sister needs you there. Can, can you go help girl when you are done? Come, let's continue where we ended. But guess, but, but listen to what Christ is saying. Christ says, hey, verse 41, and Jesus answered and said to me, mother, mother, please take note of this. Christ did not just say mother, but Christ said, Martha, again, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things, but one thing is needed, and Mary has chosen that good part, which will not be taken away. If Christ was of the same mind as Mary. Yes, listen, the meals that were being prepared, Christ was going to partake from that one. But as Christ compared serving, preparing the meat and 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 and, and the meat that Mary Mary was 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 enjoying at the feet comparing the two meals Christ felt that sitting at my feet was more important than preparing that in other there were two meals a meal physical one and then there's a spiritual one from from the the feet of Jesus Christ and listen Christ says this, you, 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 you are troubled by many things, Martha. But listen, this Mary has chosen one best part. Let, let, let me say, let me say. To Martha, the meals were more important than sitting at the feet. But to Mary, sitting at the feet was, was more, the, she would rather Starve herself to death than, 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 than to stop enjoying what the experience she was drawing from Christ. Listen to this one. At the feet of Jesus, Mary, and you know, Christ, Christ who, who, who owns eternal life, was, was sharing with Mary eternal life. They were, they were no longer in the present. They were far into eternal life, far in the future. They were, they were right in the present. They were, they were enjoying, tasting the life after this life. As, as Mary was tasting the joy, the sweetness, ah, the life better than this life. The, 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 the future, the eternal life, everlasting life, which is so sweeter, more than this. In other words, all the environment, the surrounding, the, the surroundings became useless when, when she was on the other side of the world, on the other side of the life. She needed no one to disturb because she was, and Christ joined her and said, Martha, you are worried about things that come and go. The food that you'll eat, you'll soon, you know, get hungry again. But Mary is eating the food that Mary will never get hungry. Listen, as you draw from the sweetness of the Savior, the more you draw, the more you have tested the sweetness, the more you need it. You never get to a point, my brother, my sister, where you said, man, like, like, like the physical food. You know, at times you leave the, the table because you have had enough, or maybe the food, the, 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 you, you no longer need the food. You have had enough. But listen, good people, that one, you, you get it, you get your stomach full. You need nothing. You, you don't need it anymore. But, but very soon you'll be hungry again. You'll need the same food. But when you eat the eternal word of the Lord, the, the, the sweetness, the joy that you discover when you sit at the feet of Jesus Christ, that one, you never get your, your, your soul filled up with it. The more you taste, the more you need, you just can't get, get, get over it. Listen, listen, Martha, up and down, busy, while the sister is busy with something different. My brothers, 
you, you and I may enjoy feeding the, the, hunger, the hungry, serving the poor, hey, even preaching the gospel or, or doing whatever religious activity, you know, but listen, whatever good work we are doing will never amount to, to that experience of sitting at, at, at the feet of Jesus. In other words, Jesus says, before you stand up for me, please sit at my feet so that when you stand, you have the fullness of me. Listen to what the inspired pen says. Ah, she, the, the inspired pen says, the one thing that Martha needed was calm, devotional spirit, a deeper anxiety. Let me disturb myself. Listen, listen, listen. Some of us, as we get busy, engaged in the Lord's work, we do so without the presence of the Lord, without, without, with, without the sweetness that they experience. And, and we think by doing so much work of the Lord, we are showing the people that we really care. Some of us, we love doing work, but sitting, listen, doing the work and sitting at the feet are two different things. Blessed are those who first start by sitting at the feet before they stand up for the Lord. Even Adam and Eve, before they could stand up and do anything in the Garden of Eden, they started by sitting with God in the garden and enjoy the sweetness and the calmness of the Sabbath holy hours. Listen, friends, let me continue. I just needed to say that before in my mind lose it, it lose it. Devotional spirit, a deeper anxiety for knowledge concerning the future. Immortal life, listen to this, immortal life and the graces necessary for spiritual advancement. The cause of Christ needs careful, energetic workers. There is a wide field for the mothers with their zeal in active religious work, but let them first sit with Mary at the feet of Jesus Christ. Let that diligence, promise, and energy be sanctified by the grace of Christ. Then the life will be an uh, uh, un unconquerable power for good. Let us first sit. My brother, I, can, I cannot tell you how it tastes Eh? unless you yourself test it yourself. Oh, no wonder the Bible says, come and taste so that you may know that, that the Lord is good. I invite you, my brother, I invite you, my sister, to learn, to, to prioritize your activities, your, 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 your plans, and put first sitting at the feet and draw from that fountain that never ran out. Draw, you know, it, 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 it's, something, it's something that you cannot explain to people. Uh, the only thing you can say, come and test it yourself so that you may know how it is to sit at the feet of, of Jesus Christ. Ah, let me share this before my time is over. We can never, we can never be translated physically into the kingdom of glory at the second advent of Christ, unless we have been translated spiritually into the kingdom of grace before he returns. Ah, listen people, he, he says before the translation, when the Lord comes, we need to be translated in spiritually now. Hey, listen, in other words, why do we learn the present? Hey, man, our eyes, hmm? And, 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 and our eyes of faith already are on the other side of the Lord, of, of, of the world. Already we are testing the life after this life. May, 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 may the Lord help us to go deeper and taste the goodness and, 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 and enjoy sitting at the feet of Jesus. What Mary was experiencing, oh, good people, she could not, she, she could not, she, she could, she could not compare it with anything while mother was busy doing the good thing, doing the good thing. 
what, what she was doing was powerful, was needed, but there was something more important. My brother, my sister, sitting at Jesus, bef ah, listen, before you feed the hungry, before you nature them, please nature your own soul. Find Christ yourself and keep him to yourself. Let me finish this one. Let's kill it one time, good people. Hmm. Before, if, as we look forward for the translation, eh, to, the inspired pen says, let us be translated spiritually. While we live in this life, friends, we have tested the life after this life. We have seen the glory. Ha! Listen, we can... Uh, 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 in this prayer, we ask that all of the inheritance of the saints that we can enjoy while in this rebel world be given us. The result of this translation through character transformation have been beautifully stated by Ellen G. White. By the life we live through the grace of Christ, the character is formed. The original loveliness begins to be restored to the soul. The attributes of the character of Christ are imparted and the image of the divine begins to shine forth. The faces of men and women who walk and work with God express the peace of heaven. They are surrounded with the atmosphere of heaven. For these souls, the kingdom of heaven has begun. Hallelujah. Listen, Mary at the feet, the kingdom has come. Listen, M Mary already was far into the future and the present was out of touch because she was tasty. She would go for days without eating because she was already eating. The spiritually has replaced the physical one. Let me finish. We, we, as though Jesus, we enter into rest, heaven begins. Eh? As through Jesus, we enter into rest, heaven begins here. We respond to his invitation, come, learn of me. And in thus coming, we begin the life eternal. Heaven is a ceaseless approaching to God through Christ. The longer we are in the heaven of bliss, the more and still more of glory we opened to us. And the more we know of God, the more intense will be, uh, will be our, our happiness. All that human nature can bear, we may receive the here. Ah, all, all, listen, all that human nature can bear, we may receive here. Hey, our kingdom, the kingdom of heaven begins here. Life everlasting begins here. The joy of heaven. Don't wait to be ushered into through pearly gates in heaven when Christ comes. Let's 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 get it into it now. Let, let's enjoy eternal life here in this world. So that friends, walking, sitting at the feet is better than any other thing that you may ever taste in this world. Martha, we love the Marthas, but hey, let's learn from Mary and sit there. May God, may, as you begin to sit today, may the Lord make you taste what you have never tasted. By the way, where I was yesterday with the Lord, today I'm no longer there. I have, I've, I've, I have moved to a higher. Hey, 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 every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. May our experience be the one that keeps growing and getting closer and closer. Enjoying the sweetness. May God bless the platform. May God bless everyone. May God also include me as he blesses all of you. Let's sit at the feet of Jesus. There is no place in this world anywhere better than sitting at the feet of Jesus. Let me pray. Father, thank you again for allowing us to taste the eternal joy while we are in this life that is so troublesome. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.